Hi everyone, welcome to World of Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie, you're not, and neither are any of these blokes. But keep your eyes peeled, you might see someone who looks a little bit familiar in the game after this one. This is the Ace of Spades. In the Bat Chat 25 TAP, the value Bat Chat, the 6 shot auto loading French tier 9 medium tank with the 100mm gun, 300 alpha damage, 232 penetration with armor piercing rounds, which are standard. APCR, 263 penetration. If he needs it, there's only three T9 tanks on each team. Ace of Spades is one of them, along with the Conway and the FV-3805. The enemy has the M46 pattern, the T30, and the GW Tiger at T9. Ace of Spades running around the top half of Fjords. Uh, for those listening at home, it's for yours, not for George. Just uh, letting us all know. Puts two shots into the Panther 2. Throws a blind shot towards the German tier 8 medium tank. Not sure if that last blind shot went through. Does get lit here, so pulls back. I'd be inclined to pull back and maybe even take a reload. The Scorpion G last spotted at A6. Could certainly put a, uh, a damaging shot into... Ace of Spades doesn't need to reload. Instead of reloading, puts a couple of shots into that spick. One more shot might be enough. It is. That's his first kill of the game. He's already unloaded one clip of damage for 1,414 hit points into the Panther 2 and that spick. The spick, the tier 7. Auto-loading German light tank. Is it auto-loading anymore? I've got a feeling it's not auto-loading anymore, but I could be wrong. I haven't played the tier 7s since the light tank changes anyway one zip on for yours ace of spades from crazy clan in the bat chat 25 tap this is going to be a triple shot of tier 9 ace tanker action in today's video ladies and gentlemen the bat chat 25 tap the au 251 the light tier 9 german tank and of course the t54 russian medium tank for today's three videos all going to be a little bit different Ace of Spades thinks, oh my beer, I've got this, enough of this, I'm getting stuck straight into this Hawk 12, he picks up his second kill, does get a damage ammo rack, but a quick tap of the 4 key fixes that problem, 2 kills, 1818 damage, went from 1414 damage to 1818, I think, I find that amusing, anyway, is because of he, he's already used his um, repair kit on his damage ammo rack, he can't do it again for another minute, but... Um, Let's see what he does. Maybe, maybe snipe a little bit from the middle. Not sure. The AMX CDC and the AMX 1375. Rheumatol Borsig, Waffentrager, all would be nice juicy targets. And then again, that Panther 2 on only 358 damage could be a very handy two shot to kill. Two walls have scored. Two tanks have gone down. The Conway at tier 9. And the T71 DA, the, uh, the new tier 7, or the renamed American tier 7 auto loading medium tank. Ace of Spades looking for cheeky shots. Towards where the AMX CDC was last spotted, the M41 Walker Bulldog and the T54 Mod 1 with the Pershing pushing towards that Panther 2. You'd imagine they would comfortably win that engagement. Scorpion G running away. The GW Tiger gets spotted. And of course, look. Normally a, normally a lighter or medium tank driver would say, hey, there's an Arty. Someone hits it. Looks like the friendly artillery got the hit on the GW Tiger. Took him down to half health and also stunned him. Scores 3 4. Ace of Spades going towards the puddle. Finds the. Uh, catches the CDC napping. Puts one shot into him. There's two tanks down there. Wants to be careful. Cops a damaging shot from the CDC. Puts another shot into him. And he's only got one bullet left for this 1375. Looks like the 1375 might not be loaded. He auto aims and puts a bullet into the T7 auto loading French light tank and luckily the friendly AMX 1375 as well as the Spick and the T34-3 all worked really well together to clean up that tier, tier 7 it is yeah tier 7 French light tank Ace of Spades on the reload now 27 38 damage done advising the Spick to pull back and letting him know that he's reloading by hitting the F8 key which is a really smart thing to do in my opinion when you're in any kind of auto loading or long loading tank such as such as the baby bat chat, but also tanks like the maybe like the Death Star, which might take like a they might have a like a 14 or a 15 second reload. Now you can just see T30 is just fine. Looks like the T30 
is not aiming Ace of Spades this way. Looks like he's aiming more towards the T34-3, but that T34-3 now running away. So he just puts uh, two shots into the T9 American tank destroyer before pulling back out of that engagement and preserving his health because that T30 has got a 750 alpha damage gun. If he's got the top gun, but I think I remember seeing that T30 do a pretty low amount of damage to somebody. No, it certainly sounded like the top gun. Eight sevens a score. He's got four bullets left in his clip. He's on two kills. 32-75 damage. He really does not want to get hit by either of those tanks. T-34-1 going full YOLO. Lucky for the Ace of Spades. He um, shoots him and sets the T-34-1 on fire. Finishes him off with one more shell. He's got two bullets left in the clip. Only eight uh, standard rounds remaining. Somebody hits the T-30 for a decent amount of damage. T-30 clearly going for the Ace of Spades. And the Ace of Spades showing great patience, pulling back and uh, letting the VK-4503 pick up the kill at T-7. He'll be pretty happy with that. Takes a reload now. Looks like he might be going to try and help his friends on the base. That VK-4503 gets taken out by the Tiger P. The Tiger P on 1187 hit points. That's why Ace of Spades took the reload. And it's back to an even ball game. Looks like a... The T-71 CMC, that's a single shot T-71 on the enemy team, pushing into the Scorpion G, who's on that little peninsula, doing what Scorpion Gs and artilleries often do on fields, but the Scorpion G looks like he had the better of him and picked up his first kill. Brings the score up to 11-7. Razor Spades finds a Tiger P, puts one shot into him, two shots into him. The Tiger P not looking anywhere near the Ace of Spades, Maybe he didn't realise that that's an autoloader. Who knows? Takes a reload, changes to premium ammunition. Not so much because he's going to need it against, or well, maybe against the pattern it would be handy. But with a standard shells, he would not have a full clip. Let's his teammates know that he's reloading by hitting the F8 key. And it's a 36 second reload by the looks of it when he, uh, at the time that he pushed that button anyway. Rymator goes down to artillery. 13 tens a score. 5,212 hit points of damage for Ace of Spades from Crazy Clan. Four kills. A little bit of assisted damage too. Nearly 500. Just the Scorpion G and the M46 pattern remaining. Scorpion G looks like he's pushed on and killed that T54 Mod 1. The pattern on 328 hit points. With premium loaded, that's probably the first tank I'd be going for. The M46 pattern. If anyone's going to turn it around, it's probably that tank. The Scorpion G... Look, it's got a pretty handy gun, but I doubt it could take out all four of these tanks. Ace of Spades on 755 hit points. 5,212 hit points of damage. Looks like they're trying to get into position. I would not be surprised if the Scorpion or the per or the Patton go for the artillery. Looks like they're not going to. <coughs> Ace of Spades, he could certainly take a shot from the Patton, but he wouldn't want to take a shot from both of these tanks. So he gets rid of the Scorpion G first, which is the one with the most dangerous gun, I guess. Bounces the pattern. Final shot. Picks up this picks up his six kill. Confirms the top gun. And look, I reckon he's going to be top scoring in this replay on Fjords with the score 15-11. Let's have a look and see what he did. Yes, it is an ace tanker mastery badge. For Ace of Spades from Crazy Clan. It's also the hand of God for surviving and winning the battle having received damage from at least four different enemy tanks. Not an easy thing to do in a light tank like the Batjat 25 TAP, but he certainly did it well. The Bruiser Medal for doing some module on crew damage. Duelist, fire for effect, high caliber, and of course Top Gun for picking up those six kills with the last kill of the battle. Always a pretty, always a pretty uh, satisfying feeling that one, isn't it? Getting a six kill uh, as the last kill of the battle. 5,498 damage, nearly 5,500 damage, 6 kills, 1349 base experience, more than double what anybody else did on either team, apart from the T30 on the enemy team, he did alright, 4,000, that's not too bad at all, that's the guy who in the end he YOLO'd that uh, Bat Chat 25 TAP of the Ace of Spades, made some coin there because it was mainly standard ammunition, 35,000 credits after tax, with a premium account he fired 23 shots, 21 hit, and 20 went through, and we'll call that an ace with uh, a little bit of assisted damage as well. As we move on to the second game and this uh, triple shot of tier 9 ace tanker action, 
This one features uh, somebody you don't see too often in this channel. Yep, your eyes do not deceive you. Now, this is going to be... I'm thinking about calling this one how to get an ace whilst missing over half your shots. And try, try to be kind. I am a noob. This is what I like to do on... What's it called? Ruinberg. And I don't try to ram batch at 12 tees. I try to... Um, Get a little bit of vision on this little ridge line, and sometimes you can even get some cheeky shots in. There's the first shot that I've missed. Well, hopefully I won't miss this one. Might even get a kill. Wow, I do not believe it. Picks up the first kill of the game, getting rid of the T29 for 49 hit points. Just poking around into... Over there, quick cheeky shot into the Leopard. Only 180 though. Look, the 90mm gun, 240. Average damage, 215 pen with standard, 250 with heat rounds. That's pretty, that was on the low side, that 180 damage shot. I reckon I was ripped off. Just looking over the ridge line, looking for... Just trying to keep vision. Enemy armor is damaged. 270 for that one, that's a little bit better. So I guess that one makes up for the... Um, Next up for the low right. Now this is a little bit of embarrassing part here. I've got some got got shots into the KV4. Put two shots. Well, I'm keeping him tracked. I think I do get a little bit of assisted damage by keeping that KV4 tracked. But uh, I'm not trying to track him. I'm trying to actually do some damage. I'm thinking, hang on, he's only a tier eight. The gun's not that bad on the RU251. But uh, then I realised, well, the KV4. It is very good uh, angled, and it looks like he has got it angled pretty well. So before you all call me noobs, let's just see how we go. Try to have a shot at the turret. Turrets, looks like I might have hit the gun there. And at this stage is when, I think that was, what's that, four or five shots? Change to premium. Premium doesn't seem to help. Looks like I might have hit the gun again, or something hard and hard to penetrate on the turret. That shot didn't even hit at all. That's what I was talking about. How to ace a tank whilst missing half your shots. Finally get a shot into the KV-4. Goes down to 379 hit points. I, mean, I just need to... I don't know why I didn't aim a little bit high. Got that one, though, for 219. One more might be a kill, and you can guarantee this one will bounce. No, picked up the kill. Two kills, 1,108 damage done so far. Switching back to normal rounds, because I'm probably more interested in the tanks in the east. Even though the Oho is uh, going to say, no worries, Stu, you have an easy 244 damage. You could say, you could easily be critical, I guess, but picking up 1236 assisted, up to 1352 damage done. The Batch Hat, the AMX 1390, I should say, made it uh, made it very easy. And got him taken down to 943. 2-2 is the score. Now, this is a T10 battle. Just three T10s on each team. We've already lost one, which is the Batch Hat 25 TAP. No, the batch at 25, not the TAP. That's the baby batch. What are you doing, Stewie? Anyway, looking for a cheeky shot of, cheeky shot of the T54 Mod 1. Looking at the minimap, plenty of enemy tanks here. Quick shot into the T54 Mod 1. Looks like somebody else might have hit him as well. To pick up a little bit more assisted damage. 1850 damage done. 1414 assisted damage. There's mud guts. Did I just see mud guts? Anyway, Leopard 1 proves to be a better target than the AMX 1390, which is the one I was originally going for. And really, if we want to, if we want to turn this one into a win, we need to get rid of that tier ten or a tier ten tank. The enemy have still got three. First, needs to get through the M46K, the Korean pattern. I'm confident I'm going to beat him on the reload, so hoping that this will be a damaging shot without taking a hit. But I do take a hit down to 606 hit points by the looks of it. 1390 goes full YOLO, shooting at somebody else, but then turns his attention to me. Auto aim on the auto loading French. Tier 9 light tank. With my third kill, 4 3 is the score, but unfortunately, only on 109 health. So, what can I do? I'm just driving in circles around here, trying to think what should I do. Thinking about going to snipe, but that's not really how I roll. That looks like a juicy target into the side of the turret. No idea where that shot went. I can't blame the ping. Look at the ping. The ping's sitting between uh, 20 and 30. That one won't go through. I've got only got two standard shells left. The T54 Mod 1 is down to 95 hit points. The 1390... I think the 1390 would have him covered. He does. He does cop a little bit of uh, damage for his 
trouble though. And 6-4, not looking too bad. 6-4, looking back here for some more cheeky snipey snipe shots because nobody looks like they really want to push the east. And if you have a look at the Jagpanzer E100, you would think that that would be a nice, easy damaging shot. It is taking down to 1,210 hit points. Still a bit of work to do to get rid of that Jag, but something pretty big just hit him. And so I just want to help get rid of that tier 10. The Oho goes down. Jag's down to 323 hit points. That shot bounces. We've only got 10 shells left. 5 HE and 5... Um, Premium rounds, 8-6 is the score. And I think around about this stage, I'll start looking at uh, what tanks are left. And it looks like they're all pretty much in the city, apart from that T26C5 who's just there. Well, he's not there anymore. And that 1390, who's quite possibly uh, running away like a scared little child. Four kills to Stewie JP for 1AR Clan. How did this happen? He's down to 109 hit points, but he's picked up 3,000. 285 damage, nearly 2,000 assisted damage. Four kills, and won't any kind of mission cause damage 12 times same tier or higher is can be challenging because there are uh, a lot of tier rates in this tank uh, spoiler alert I don't get the mission but uh, I'm pretty happy with how I'm rolling down here 1390 gets spotted down the southwest so I reckon it's pretty safe to go all the way down to K0 and just scout out this make sure nobody's retreated back here back along the uh, the K line Now, according, I'm pretty sure before this game I had aced the AU251 before, but I reckon I aced it when it was a tier 8, not uh, not a tier 9. So that's maybe why I get a little bit excited. And I'm pretty happy about, pretty excited about slowly chipping away towards the the tier 10 German light tank. Because I picked up the Russian light tank uh, not so long ago. Aiming, aiming, aiming with high explosives. Get him for 294, and of course, that, so that looks like it penetrated, of course, the turret of the Scorpion G, not the strongest thing in the world, that takes the damage up to 3,500 damage, 2,000 assisted. A little bit wary of that 1390, but the 1390, um, is on pretty low health as well, and I reckon he's just uh, doing the old sit back and camp at the end kind of uh, ploy. Does that go through? Just missed it. You can see where it landed. You can see him aiming at me, and instead of hitting me, sorry about that T-54. Uh, the 1390 kills the Scorpion G. The T-54 goes down to the Scorpion G, who's quite possibly aiming my way. Looks like the Emil might have him covered. That's mud guts. And in the end, that was a good win. 15 to 9 on Ruinberg will take that uh, kind of win all day long. Let's have a look at the battle result. It is an ace tanker. I know it's not often I get them. That is for sure. An ace tanker mastery badge. Bruiser, fired up, fire for effect. No other major medals, but I was pretty happy with my performance in that one, apart from the bad shooting towards the KV4. Top the score charts by experience, 1,319. 3,579 damage, 4 kills. T-54 um, did more damage than me, the cheeky little prick. But with a name like 11282, he'd want to be a pretty good player. But anyway, I fired 35 shots, only 18 hit. So just over half the shots hit. And look, I blame bad decisions on that KV-4. But to be fair, I kept him tracked. And, you know, I don't really... Made plenty of credits too, a massive 55 credits, probably because a lot of those premium shells didn't do much into the KV-4, but uh, I'll take that win and that ace tanker any day of the week. As we move on to our third and final battle, speaking of good T-54 lightweight um, players, this is my old mate Panzer Quack, Panzer Quack from Calm Clan, Panzer Quack in the T-54 lightweight. Going on Lakefield, going the middle road for Vision. Not sure what the T25 pilot's going to do. Maybe he's just going to back him up. The IKV 90B at uh, tier 7. Looks like he might be trying to help. That's a little bit of a very cute little burnout there. Pulls back into this bush. Now this bush, when it works, it works really, really well. You can often get Vision on the uh, enemy team that are crossing towards towards the city. But who knows, that M4, M4, AMX M445 looks like he's uh, camping base like an absolute champion. 
The WZ132A at tier 9, that's the Chinese light tank. Alex Anderson, well done for putting your real, real name out there, man. I thought I was the only one. He, um, he's on the middle road as well, but he's copped a little bit of damage, so maybe the WZ's pull back. Panzerquack gets a shot into the IS-3, into town. Doesn't spot too much more um, going to town, so he moves forward. Getting very aggressive here. And, of course, I guess you can afford to get... When you look at the, the layout of this... Um, of this road, if you get really aggressive where Panzerquack is now, there's plenty of cover here. And it was love, you know, where could somebody shoot you from in this position, apart from where the ONE is, or what this WZ 132 is doing? The WZ 132 has gone full YOLO on the T54 lightweight. T54 lightweight, not a bad tank as far as um, blocking damage and stuff goes for a light tank. T29 in the end picks up the kill, and the WZ132A has died in a pretty handy spot for Panzerquack from Car Plan. Um, it's just providing him with even more cover. Just kicks back there. He has used his repair kit to fix his gun, I think it was. 1401 damage done, 320 damage block. Gets a shot into the T29. You can see on the minimap, plenty of tanks going towards town now, and I think that might be. What Panzerquack is hoping, if they go into town and provide vision for him, like he's provided vision for them, uh, then everybody's going to have a good game. He just pushes the dead Chinese light tank a little bit further forward, looking for... He's looking to see if that T-29 or IS-3 backs up behind that building, I would imagine. Taking his time, one zips a score, 16, 64 damage done, 320 damage blocked, 978 assisted damage. looking into the town and this is um, free damage all the way if you can um, get away with winning the uh, central road on this map and just get snipey snipey shots into these enemy tanks the IS-3 on 372 hit points now he's down to 97 one more shot will give him his first kill but he just pulls behind that building before Panzerquack can uh, get another shot off Finds the AMX M445, doesn't have to wait for his six heads to go off to know that he's been lit there. Pulls back behind this rock because uh, people people don't like people on this middle road and there's a very good reason for that because once you once you can get aggressively forward on the middle road, you allow your tank destroyers to come up nice and aggressive like this IKV 90B and that will allow the IKV to get shots in the city. Of course, uh, Panzerquack's getting shots into the city. He's already chipped away at, it uh, looks like he's going to chip away. At the ONE, does get a little bit, gets stunned a little bit by... Who knows which artillery that one was. Looks for another shot into the Type 59. Doesn't quite have the shot. 4-1 is the score though. He's certainly, this is certainly working. That, uh, that Frenchie who was up here looks like he might be dead. Spots the SU-12244 at Tier 7. That's the premium... Russian TD, this could be a kill, it is. Gotcha. Believe it or not, that's his first kill this game. 6-1 the score on Lakeville. Panzerquack from Calm Clan in the T-54 lightweight. Smashing out, getting that Russian gun zinging just to fucking put heaps of damage into these bad boys. 7-1, 3,345 damage, a little bit blocked, 1,545 assisted damage. He gets spotted, but he doesn't care because the Spix are one shot and he wants it. He gets it. Two kills to Panzerquack. 8-2 on Lakeville. There's a Ferdinand over here, so he's taking his time. Hoping the Ferdinand's pulled right back. He looks like he's pulled back a reasonable amount, but he might be aiming Panzerquack's way. Let's see how he goes. You'd think the T-95 would be uh, reasonably confident. Puts a shot into the Ferdinand. Cops 485 damage, though, for his trouble. He knows you'll beat him on the reload. That shot does go through for 200 and 36 damage. He's switched to premium rounds. That's why it went through. He's down to 58 hit points, but he's not slowing down. With the score 9-3, 4,159 damage done. 1686 assisted. Picks up another 212 assisted as that T-10 kills the Ferdinand with a score on 11-4. Two enemy tanks down in the south, the M103 and the Jag Tiger. Two other tanks yet to be seen. The M12 and the Lorraine 15 550. There's the M12. It'll take two bullets to kill him. Auto aims, shoots, takes him down to 108 hit points. There's one enemy tank on the base. But looking at the minimap, you think the A44 and the IKV 90B with the backup of the artillery will be able to prevent uh, the enemy team.
recapping that one out. 12 fours to score, the Lorraine 15550. Just fired a shot in Panzerquack's direction. He's got two standard shells left and he's looking for that French artillery who's clearly down the valley of death somewhere. Everybody's been through the city, so he knows he's not there. He's got to be down here somewhere. There's the, <laughs> there's the M103. He bounces the M103 for 400 hit points. The Jag Tiger goes down. Where the hell is this artillery? Don't tell me the artillery is further down. If he is, the A44 will we'll certainly see him pretty soon. Manzaquack spots the M103, takes him down to 500 odd hit points. Pulls back, pulls back. He doesn't want to die here. He doesn't want to die. Waiting for the I3, the T29 and the T95 to come back to try and help him. And once uh, Panzerquack can pull back and stay alive, he might have more shots into the back of this T9 American heavy tank. The Lorraine 15550 goes down to the A44. And Panzerquack saying, help. They're going to help. Get this bloke off me. He's chasing me. I mean, of course, the M103 shouldn't catch uh, shouldn't catch Panzerquack uh, if he's, as long as he's careful. And now we can see which way the gun's aiming. He picks up his fourth kill, which is the last kill of the battle on Lakeville. And a very well-deserved ace. And a well-deserved win as well for Panzerquack from Calm Clan in the T-54 Lightweight. One of my favourite tier 9 light tanks, even though I no longer have it. It's an ace tanker. Not only is it an ace tanker, it's a bruiser metal fighter. Fire for effect Spartan for surviving on low health. That was a shot from the M103 right at the end of the game. In the Valley of Death, Confederate for shooting more enemy tanks than anyone else. The high caliber and the sniper for doing all that sniping damage in the central road. 4,908 damage from Panzerquack from Calm Clan on Lakeville. 1317 base experience, 24 shots fired, 21 hit and they all did damage, 2400 sniped, nearly 2000 assisted damage, 720 damage blocked by armour. Made some coin too, 54,500 credits after tax, would have been nearly 92,000 with a premium account, but it did have, uh, what's that, 28, 29,000 credits with um, personal reserves and battle payments from clan bonuses. So we'll take... Take that result all the way to the bank. He was 200 damage away from light tank 15.3. <laughs> That's what he put in the comments. So what did you need to do? 200 damage away. I mean, you need to do 5,100. Maybe it's a three times your hit point thing or something like that. Or maybe it was a spotting thing. Who knows? Anyway, Ace Tanker from Panzerquack from Calm Clan in the T-54 Lightweight. Thank you very much for the replays, lads. Me included. Ace Tanker by Stewie doesn't happen every day. So, of course, I get pretty excited when that happens. If you've liked this video, think about pushing the like button, the subscribe button. Have a look on Facebook, Twitch. All the links are down there somewhere. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and see you all next time.